Arctic is changing faster than the rest of the planet. Because the sea ice is melting, it's making climate change happen faster. So I wanted to focus on this region so that we could understand those changes. Oceanographer Bronwyn Williams is in the Canadian territory of Nunavut, well above the Arctic Circle. She and her team are searching for a time capsule hidden deep below the sea ice. We would saw holes in the ice for the diver to go down. We had a challenging time because water on his dive equipment would actually freeze. And so then he would have to come back up and we'd have to melt that before he'd go back down again. You don't actually get a lot of bottom time. You have about 20 minutes in a dive and they probably only do two dives a day. Finally, they find just what they're looking for, pink coralline algae. When we're diving underwater, it actually looks like rocks. But we know it's our algae because it has a pink layer of living tissue that's covering the rock. And so we know that that's the algae that we're looking into. With the algae in hand, Bronwyn returns to her lab to find out just what makes this underwater plant so special. Just like trees on land, some of the plants and animals in the oceans document or capture changes in the environment in their skeletons. We can measure the skeletons and use that to kind of backtrack how the environment has changed. By looking at the growth rings inside the algae, Bronwyn can see the effects of climate change on Arctic ice going back hundreds of years. Growth is related to light and temperature because of sea ice. So in years where it's warmer, there's less sea ice. And so there's more light being able to reach the algae on the seafloor. And years where it's cooler, there's more sea ice. And so there's less light reaching the seafloor. We can actually measure the growth each year in the algae and that can give us an idea of how much sea ice there's been in the Arctic from year to year. The wider the rings, the warmer the planet was that year, which means less ice. Known as the cryosphere, the frozen regions of the Earth not only act as indicators of climate change, they also help regulate our planet's temperature. Sea ice is really important because it sits on top of the ocean and it provides a barrier for the sun's energy. The sun's energy will hit the sea ice and that actually keeps things a little bit cool because it's bouncing the sun's energy away from the surface of the planet. So with the sea ice receding, it's warming up the ocean faster than it would if the sea ice was still there. Humans have only been releasing fossil fuel emissions into the atmosphere for around 250 years. By using this as a marker, Bronwyn can compare growth levels from before and after human involvement. And there seems to be a clear trend. The changes that we're seeing in the climate, they're largely caused by people's activities. And what that means though, is if people are causing these changes in the climate, it means that we can do something about it by changing our behavior. And that's what my job is doing, is we are trying to get information so that we can understand what those changes are. And once we understand the problem, then we can work towards trying to solve it.